Hey folks, Chris Leto here, New Jersey, Delaware Bay editor of the Fisherman Magazine and welcome to another online video fishing report for this week. We've had some absolutely crazy weather. I'm out here in a sweatshirt, I'm sweating. It's about 65 degrees after a morning of rain. But this week featured a severe cold snap. Boats had to break skim ice to even get out of the inlets at times, out of their slips. Up in Buffalo, they had seven feet of snow, and that's all scheduled to melt right now with this warming trend. So look for fishing to be up and down. You really got to stay on top of the reports by going to the website and checking those daily updates. Uh, up north, there were a lot of short bass under birds. There were some blues. There were Keepers were caught. But those were caught by private boaters pulling stretch plugs, pulling umbrella rigs, and pulling bunker spoons. Uh, togging was good up north. They had some fish to 7-8 pounds off Elberon, the rocks there, off the Red Church and the Sandy Hook Reef. People described it as a scratchy bite, which means the tog are really non-committal as far as taking those crabs. In the central area of New Jersey, bass action was pretty good. It got better once you hit Barnegat. When you got down to Barnegat and you started going south, there were some bigger fish being trolled. Bob and John Haynes aboard the Rita Mary out of Barnegat had a really nice day trolling bass on Saturday. They had fish to 38 and a half inches. Now that's nothing to scoff at. As far as South Jersey goes, the fish are there too. All the way off Atlantic City, Summers Point, Avalon. Uh, Captain Sean Riley of Waterfront Marina and outdoor journalist Nick Konoshevsky, they had bass to 35 pounds aboard the low tide out of Summers Point while they were trolling stretch plugs and Niners rigs. The big fish hit a Niners rig with the spinner blades with red tubes, so you never know what's going to work. There's been a lot of rain bait, there's been a lot of spearing and large bunker, but what everyone wants to know is where are the sand eels? I don't, I don't have an answer for that. And when they do show up, look for increased action because those fish seem to be sliding to the south. They're offshore brigantine, but they're not coming into the beach for the surf anglers. The surf anglers are plugging up some shorts and maybe a keeper here and there using tiny teaser flies to imitate that smaller profile bait. But those big fish have not come into the suds yet. Togging is absolutely phenomenal. I said up north and down south. Down in Delaware, Captain Scotty Gold aboard the Rehoboth Star reported a boat limit on Saturday. He had great action. The offshore wrecks are still producing. Big sea bass, huge uh, dinner plate porgies, cod, pollock. They're going to the deeper wrecks and fishing with clam. So check out those boats. You might want to fill up the freezer with a trip on one of those type of excursions. It's really hot right now. As far as events go, I wanted to encourage most of you, if you have an event that you want to publicize, we do have a spot for that at thefisherman.com. If you go under resources, you're allowed to update your own event for your club or your community, and there's no cost to you. So be free to utilize that service that we provide to you. Um, public fishing reports, uh, our online reports have started uh, because the weekly issues have stopped until April. We're going to be publishing our big monthly December gift guide, so look for that to come out. And then a January issue, a February issue, a March issue, and then in April we'll start with those weekly fishing guides, those weekly reports mailed to you, the subscriber. The Dream Boat Challenge wraps up this month at the end of November, as does the Jersey Shore Beach and Boat. So look for announcements to come up with those two events. And as far as I could say, have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm really thankful, and I hope you are too, to be able to go out and share these great renewable resources that we have. The woods, the streams, the rivers, the ocean, the bounty that we get from it. It's truly a remarkable thing and a miracle. And I hope all of you are getting ready to get out there and spend some time with the family, maybe spend a day on the water and fish. But for now, this is Chris Lito, again wishing you a happy Thanksgiving with your weekly fishing report live from the field. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.